mało wyspana, bo jest tutaj z tym, że strasznie zaspało dzisiaj. Nie, żeby mieć podczas coś swojego, ale to i tak. Nie, tylko takie uczucie, wiesz, jak masz coś swojego i śpisz pod czymś swoim, a nie pod czymś taką, wiesz, kołdrą, która była w ogóle taka, na takim wielkim łóżku i była taka sama wielka, nie? Wodę możesz nam przynieść. Nie gazowaną, nie, nie gazowaną. Absolutnie, bo będziemy bąbelki puszczać. Teraz czekaj, to jest tak. A co robi to? Może nie eksperymentuj. Sprawdź, spróbuj dać dalej. Ale nie. To nie, czekaj, no to a to co robi? To, to, a może to jest auto... Nie wiem, ja bym dała tutaj naciska. No bo na logikę to to powinno się przerzucać w prawo. No tak, a to nie wiem co robi. Ja myślałam, że ma na przykład ten... Um, Mizi Mizi można robić. W sensie... Um, Okay, I think it's the time. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Let's start. <laughs> uh, my name is Joanna. I'm from National Museum in Krakow. This is Agata. <laughs> Agata is our Viki Pedian in residence now. And we would like to present you this small project, but it was very important for us. Um, the presentation is a result of cooperation between Wikimedia Polska and National Museum in Krakow. Uh, and we will start with something maybe controversial, but this question. Museum as the space for imagination. And why is that? Uh, because no museum is a, nearly a place where artworks are displayed. The role of the museum is to make objects speak and to create freedom for creative exploration around them. So museum is the place where our imagination can enter a space filled with emotion, history, context, and symbols, and in this experience can be freeing our own imagination. And in, with this idea, we get to uh, the, one of the most important painters of our Polish culture, Polish art, uh, Jan Matejko. Uh, but before that, we, I would like to say something about our museum to get you in space, <laughs> where are we? Uh, the National Museum in Krakow is uh, one of the oldest and the largest in the Poland. It was founded in 1879. So this year is very important for us because uh, in this year we are celebrating 145th anniversary of our birthday. <laughs> so happy birthday to us. <laughs> Still up to today, we are uh, the remaining institution with the biggest number of collection, buildings, and permanent exhibition. Uh, and what is interesting, uh, the National Museum consists of 12 branches located in historic center of Krakow. Uh, and the, this is a curiosity, one of the branches located in Zakopane. So not all, Museum, National Museum in Krakow have one branch in <laughs> Zakopane, which is dedicated to uh, Karol Szymanowski, Polish composer. These are some views of our galleries. Of course, few of them. <laughs> the collection of the museum includes almost one million objects representing the most significant and recognizable examples of Polish art. Um, we uh, house numerous exhibitions also from various cultures, from East and West, and from ancient times to present day, not only the Polish art. Uh, over the course of 20th century from our beginning, the scope of holdings was expanded to cover not only the paintings or the sculptures, but also the works of decorative arts, numismatic arms and armor, archaeological and ethnogra ethnographical objects. Uh, Mm, at the National Museum in Krakow, the, we main to open access policy, and this is the very crucial uh, policy in nowadays. Based on it, since the 2018, we have been making our collection available uh, freely uh, in high resolution through the digital portal, it, which you can see uh, the screen of it here. The, the portal is called Zbiory MNKPL. Uh, in nowadays, it contains over 114,000 records of the museum, uh, 140 and some more. <laughs> uh, 
And due to these actions, we decided uh, to start the cooperation with Wikipedia. Uh, and why? Because we believe that the mission of the museum aligns with, in many ways with uh, the values of Wikipedia. Uh, this is a small timetable <laughs> that we are uh, currently at, the, so that, that's, that's why they are not stopping points, but this is the flow of the river. Uh, we started in November 2021 by beginning, and of course uh, there are some uh, crucial points in this cooperation. So the first was the May 2022, uh, when we initiating the museum's first VP Wikipedia new residence. Uh, from that on we started some uh, actions, activities, there were editons, there were glamours with MNK, and uh, the most crucial point of that uh, cooperation was the project Viki Mateiko or Mateiko on Wikipedia that started in fall 2023 and uh, lasted about to spring 2024. Uh, we are continue, continuing our uh, hosting of Wikipedia in residence and Agata is here with us she is one, uh, one at, at this moment. Uh, this, at this time and these years, especially we are celebrating the 144 years of our museum, of course. And uh, due to that, every month Agata is creating the Wiki uh, challenges for everyone. So we encourage you to get involved. Mm -hmm. Uh, also, I would like to mention that the cooperation with Wikipedia, uh, we called it MNK Glam Wiki project uh, in our own <laughs> genre. <laughs> the project is an element of the implementation of Museum Social Responsibility Strategy, which pillars are these values, accessibility, collaboration, sustainable manager, management. Uh, why, why we decided to do that? Because uh, the guidelines that uh, was the inspiration for that, that was uh, the phrase, we want to be present, we want to be useful. Because of that, we decided that the social responsibility strategy is really important and in this time uh, it must be implemented uh, with every means in the, by the museum. Uh, the collaboration with Wikipedia, Wikipedia allows us to broaden the reach of our collection and provide value resources to global address for free. So this is the accessibility. We are making museum open for all. Uh, just like community of Wikipedia contributors, we are committed to providing reliable, accessible knowledge for everyone. So we are trying to uh, make the content the most important and the most value for everyone in, uh, in the world. Uh, we know that lots of people get their knowledge from Wikipedia, so we need to reach them where they are hanging out. <laughs> That's the only way. Uh, the strategy of the Open and Social Res Responsibility Museum also takes into account and the latest um, impact of the institution on its surroundings and the natural environment. So that's uh, why we decided uh, to, uh, in, to, to make some uh, changes in our institution um, via criteria it's called ESG, so Environment, Social Responsibility, govern, ge, ge, govern, Governance. <laughs> Sorry for that. And uh, these goals of the strategy uh, are similar to the goals of to the goals of the MNK Glam Wiki project. So the first one, dissemination, engagement, and enhancement. Uh, dissemination because we are spreading knowledge about the museum and its collection. We are increasing in, increasing the, vis the visibility of the collections of the National Museum in Krakow, not only of Wikipedia but also in the world and engagement because we are trying to engage uh, as much employees as uh, also the users of Wikipedia and the other volunteers. And enhancement because uh, we are trying to improve workflow of the museum by making some using of Wikipedia tools that are provided for us, uh, that we are learning about, uh, from, for example, from Wikipedia in residence. 
the coordination of this project in the museum is, is team, yes. It's also what um, our director said, uh, not uh, one person, but it's a team. Uh, the main coordinator is right there is Agata Jabłońska from the department, uh, marketing department. And uh, I'm from the Department of Digitalization to make some help if it needed. And since March 2024, there is Agatha with us. Before that, it was Philip. He's here with us also. Um, the main activities of the Wiki residency, uh, well, it, there, there are many activities that Agatha is doing, but the main are integrating the museum into Wikipedia projects uh, and uh, to assist museum, to be some kind of liaison with, between museum and the Wikipedia community. Coordinate activities within the project Glamour and Castle uh, to create and to collaborate with museum staff and uh, to organize other, for example, editons or something like that, or campaigns like uh, Glam Month, something like uh, in this way, uh, to make uh, a new uh, um, content that is most, the most valuable uh, for, for the Wikipedia community. Uh, making contributions to the articles. Agatha is lately produced some very, very good articles. Uh, they were uh, published in the section, did you know? And they were having much, much views. Uh, uploading resources to Wikimedia Commons, so we are sharing the knowledge uh, that is our digital resources. This is the, the project website. So uh, we encourage you to go there and see. Uh, of course, for now, it is in Polish, but we are working on translations. Um, we decided to uh, make special uh, templates and categories uh, to mark this collaboration. So all articles and files have been marked by, by these tem templates. And of course, there are some of activities I mentioned most of them. This was one of the first uh, activities, first uh, trying to engage Wikipedia community with the museum. Uh, we have, uh, there was an exhibition dedicated to Jacek Malczewski. He was a painter in uh, 19 and beginning of the 12th century. And that was uh, uh, the beginning of our first editon uh, with, uh, with Wikipedians. And you can see that some of, we started with the visiting the exhibition. After that, we, we went to our library. We, we have a very, very good library in our main building that you can get to. Uh, and you see uh, some of our friends are trying to create new <laughs> additions. Vicky Mateiko, okay, let's start on that. Uh, Vicky Mateiko was also part of our corporation and it was for much uh, incorporated in the flow of the life of the museum. So it was the year of uh, Jan Mateiko, uh, in, in, in honor of his life, in, on, of, on, in honor of his death, I think. Um, uh, and uh, with that, uh, there was an exhibition at the National Museum in Krakow, Mateiko, Painter and the History. You have got uh, the very nice uh, poster here. And these will be some views from uh, the exhibition that was in the main building. Uh, this is a very good example of our uh, department that organized the exhibitions. Uh, this wonderful concept uh, display of items and objects from uh, Mateiko's own collection uh, that he accumulated through his life uh, he was a great collector and he <laughs> had a great collection of everything, as you see. Not only of vestments, but shoes and uh, some other decorative arts and, uh, for example, even the instruments, music instruments. Uh, 
Inside uh, the exhibition, there was a presentation uh, of uh, not only his work, but also the whole background that was uh, needed and that he was collecting uh, through his uh, life to, pr to produce the most elaborate paintings in our latest history. And the second inspiration is the Mateiko House. Uh, this is also the one of the branches uh, of the National Museum of Krakow. You can visit it. It's on Floriańska Street. Uh, it housed in the family home of Jan Mateiko. Uh, so uh, it was the old building that was rebuilt in 19th and 18th century, but mostly in 19th century due to his but uh, most in 19th century, uh, when he was alive, he created there his home for his family. Um, and in the upper parts of this building, there is his uh, workshop, which is very, very interesting to see. So I encourage you to go and see one day. Um, the Vicky Mateiko project started uh, in autumn of 2023, you have the schedule of that, uh, the, that project here. Uh, I must add that the project was, uh, and the timeline of it was very flexible and adjusted to meet the needs of the participant. Most of the participants were was, was students, so due to that we uh, have to make some extensions uh, because of the exam sessions at the university in winter. Uh, so we gave them time to concern that, uh, that things and uh, to come back to us later with fresh energy after the sessions, after the examining sessions. This is the project website. Uh, as I said, most of the participants were students. Uh, it was uh, about 50 novices and 10 experienced Wikipedians who acted as a Wikipedia guides. Uh, that was because to get novice to know how to and to have a, a, a shepherd or something like that to guide them through any difficulties. Uh, we also decided to uh, create in this uh, project uh, a smaller version, so to get them opportunity to internship, to, to, to uh, yes, uh, to uh, um, sorry, I okay, yes, to inter uh, to participate in internship that was between uh, our museum in Wikipedia. Uh, and uh, this internship was also uh, for those who were not only in, um, involved in the Viking Mateiko project, but also to those was also uh, for those who were just um, some kind of passionate to, of concept of public domain, and they. Uh, it was the, this project was uh, sidelined, but also most of the participants was involved in Viki Mateiko. I would like to say that uh, this is the inauguration event, and this is our group. The lunch event also was in the main building where the exhibition was. Uh, here you can see uh, that. Uh, we visited the exhibition and the, uh, also the library. And this is the wrap-up event. So we decided to mark the end by visiting uh, the Sukiennice, the cloth house on, uh, uh, on the main market uh, square, which is the oldest branch of the museums of the museum, um, and it, it housed uh, the 19th and beginning of the 20th century art. Uh, mainly, mainly you can see there Mateiko's uh, great, uh, great historical paintings. Uh, the methods that were uh, involved, well, it was training and consultation. 
training uh, on creation edi and editing, uh, on translation, for example, uh, on how to create educa edu educational materials. Uh, and uh, also many, many consultation. Uh, we were for them, for our uh, participants. Uh, there were options uh, of, uh, of online consultations, uh, for example, to solve problems that they held. Uh, and also um, there were uh, consultation uh, in place so they can came to museum uh, to uh, reach our curators to talk with them and uh, to get access uh, to our database system uh, to, to get to the best resources that we can provide for them. This is the schedule of the training. So you can see we, we tried to get them everything we can. <laughs> And I got our project results. Uh, so I will introduce you some project results. And Wiki Mateiko focused on three projects, Wikipedia, Wikimedia Commons, and Wikidata, and also open educational resources. And editing activities um, mainly took place in the Wikipedia. And the aim of the action was to enrich Wikipedia and its sister projects with high quality uh, content, illustrations, and data related to the artist, his life, and work. And participants uh, wrote 14 new articles and expanded 21. All um, articles were marked with a special template and assigned to the category Wikimateiko articles. And the articles were dedicated to the artworks presented uh, at the Mateiko, the Painter and History exhibition, including articles about uh, Jan Mateiko, members of his family, and the Jan Mateiko house. And in this virtual collection, you will find portraits, sketches, uh, large scale multifigural scenes, and they depict uh, significant events in Polish history. And one of the articles, Polyptych of Luzina, was written um, by a conservator from the National Museum in Krakow. And this article is the result of a project implemented as part of the research on Polish War Loses program. Uh, the aim of which was to make research results available to avoid uh, audience. And Polyptych of Luzina was illustrated with a sketch by Jan Matejko depicting the scourging of Christ and the article was translated into English and German. And the total number of views on Polish language Wikipedia reached 100 uh, 84,676. And only one article was illustrated, I'm sorry, only one article by Dick de Mateiko was highlighted uh, and featured in the Did You Know section uh, uh, on Wikipedia's main page, achieving 2,582 views that day. And translation. Um, 19 articles were translated into four languages with 24 translations in total. Um, the dominant languages, uh, language among the participants was English, while the dominant uh, languages among the Wikipedians were Belarusian, Ukrainian and Russian. And most translations were made on the English language Wikipedia it is eight articles, and the Russian language Wikipedia, 11 articles. And the next project is Wikimedia Commons. And uh, as part of the year of Jan Mateiko, 71 files uh, were uploaded to Wikimedia Commons with 34 specifically for the action. And all files were categorized under the Wikimateiko collection of artworks 
and the uploaded files included reproduction of Mateiko's work, commentaries on the works, and photographs of the artist and his family. And the unique reproduction is uh, the Stanchek Swood, the 19th century, designed by Jan Mateiko. And um, this uh, reproduction was uploaded for the first time in free access uh, and has reached 94,387 views since its publication. And if you noticed, um, the motive of Stanchek Swood, the red hood, has appeared on the graphics promoting um, the Vicky Mateiko editing action. And the most viewed files were Bolesław of the Brave with Światło Polk at the Golden Gate in Kyiv on the left and that Sarszuiski brought by Żukiewski to the Warsaw same in front of Zygmunt III on the right. And the last project is Wikidata and the participants created nine new items and updated 30. Um, for example, items such as Tantric Swood, the interior of Kazimierz the Great Tomb, and Bolesław of the Brave with Światłopolk and the Golden Gate in Kyiv appeared on Wikidata for the first time. And also participants uh, created several open educational materials in collaboration with Open Education and Development Specialist. And um, these materials are interactive and using the files uploaded as part of the action. But uh, unfortunately, they haven't been published yet, so I cannot show you. Only one. OK, only one. And uh, in the end of the presentation, I would like to invite you to participate in the MNK Glam Wiki project. Uh, this year we are be planning to organize the, um, the next action dedicated to another Polish artist, but we cannot reveal the name. But we would like to invite you to get involved in the project. You can translate uh, the articles and the pages on the, strike, on the site. And um, if you have any questions or you would like to participate or collaborate, you can write to us. And I also would like to invite you um, to join a tour of three branches of the National Museum in Krakow, the Stanisław Wyspiański uh, Museum, the Gallery of 19th Century Polish Art in the Cloth Hall, and the Czartowski Museum, uh, the tour will take place on Sunday, August 11, at 3 p.m. And all details you can find on the museum official page, page. The link is on the slide. Thank you for your attention. Uh, how did you motivate participants to take part in this um, project? Some awards, some recognition, what, what was made before and after uh, the project? Well, uh, we started with some promotion in social media and uh, at the end we gave them the special certificate to uh, commemorate uh, their work and to thank them for uh, their uh, involvement. So. Uh, I think 23 certificates were granted because uh, there were some people who were joining after the main event also and uh, contributed later. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I wanted to thank you for enlightening presentation and for giving insights into possibilities how museums can uh, work together with um, Wikipedia to enrich their visibility as you 
probably said. Um, and I wonder whether also employees of the museum took active part as like becoming a member of Wikipedia and editing the staff on site. Or do you encourage as an institution mm -hmm. your employees to become members yes. of Wikipedia? Because you, of course, are the specialist in this kind of knowledge. Mm -hmm. We only, so to say, are mediators in this campaign. Mm -hmm. And the second question, or the second maybe tip is, um, I have been co collaborating with the uh, Berlin-based um, State Library uh, and they have uh, a very good incentive, I would say, to encourage people in uh, voluntary en uh, commitment to uh, engage in increasing visibility uh, by namely giving them some, something like uh, a house passport which allows them to freely enter all um, institutions so exhibits, and for example, libraries, yes. for uh -huh. instance, um, so to decrease, so to say, the burden, uh, the, the, the hurdle to become, so to say, recognized by also by the institution. Uh, because this is sometimes the um, hindering factor that at many institutions, I mean, they... Uh, claim that they want to be visible, but on the other hand, they make it difficult to get yes, I access, know. so get to the say, reach, yes. or to get access <laughs> mm -hmm. to the resources, for instance, yes. at your library. I mean, because this is a dedicated library, and if we go to Warsaw University Library, maybe they do not have that much material as you have. Uh, Thank well, you very much. About the, our real library, it's not uh, that uh, strange place to go because you can, uh, it, it, it's available for everyone. Uh, all of, not only for the employees or something like that, but everyone, uh, you can come from the street, go there and uh, use it, of course, in place, not uh, uh, go with the book outside. Um, so the involvement of uh, our staff, uh, it it is difficult. I will not say that it's easy, easy, breezy, <laughs> but it is difficult. Uh, we are trying to reach them. We are proposing them trainings, uh, how to edit and something like that. We are trying to gain uh, their, uh, I think, trust that this is the very good project and that we can do much more for the museum through the Wikipedia mm -hmm. and get the more visibility. Uh, in the world, uh, even even through our all social media, for example, uh, I think there was three trainings through our whole project for uh, the staff. Of course, uh, there are some people who are sceptic <laughs> still. But for example, in Vicky Mateiko, uh, it was great that the creators of the House of uh, Mateiko involved. So. Uh, we uh, get some people, some uh, uh, participants called us and say that they uh, send email and uh, the curator answered them <laughs> and they were very, very happy. So it was very nice to see this involvement and uh, engage from these, pe these people who are uh, the specialists in this field. I think it's all. <laughs> yes, it's. It's time out. <laughs> Thank you very much uh, uh, for this time, and uh, we invite you to gain uh, uh, to to come to the Krakow to visit National Museum Krakow, but also to visit our website and visit our project and involve. We oh yes, in Tuesday you can access freely to every branch. Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday.